Good morning everybody and welcome back to a brand new vlog. We have lots to do today. I'm also going to sit down and do my makeup with you guys today. And it is currently November 2nd as I am filming this video and it is time to take all the Halloween decor down. I want to get that done because I have a very busy week and this weekend I am going out of town. So I'm going to see my best friend Angela. So we have, I have lots to do. I have lots to get done and I want to come back and have like turkey Thanksgiving vibes. I'm really debating on should I put Christmas out? I don't think I'm going to. But basically, moral of today is going to be, oh, I have to inform you guys, update you guys about baby journey. So I'm going to do my makeup with you guys, talk to you about that. I had my first appointment November 1st. Well, not my first appointment, but my first appointment since all the stuff happened with my last embryo transfer. So, and then we're just going to kind of organize the house, put away a lot of the decor, 363 days until next Halloween. I need to get a cough drop because I have a tickle. I have a tickly tickle. Let's see. Let's go with some cherry hauls. It's my favorite. All right. First things first, face has been washed. We definitely need to go and get these brows done sometime soon. <laughs> Yesterday, really early, I had a doctor's appointment at the fertility clinic. What am I looking for, guys? My eyebrow brush. That's what I'm looking for. Hold on. Wait, should I tell you guys what I'm using as I'm using it whilst talking? I am the worst at doing that. And I'm already out of breath, which is ridiculous. It's because I'm congested. I'm not sick. I just have allergies. Let's do, I've been doing this lately. I already have my moisturizer, my sunscreen on, and this is just the Mac Fix Plus Prime and Prep, Prep and Prime. So I don't know. Just, oh. So we just do a spritz of that. Let that sit. And while that's kind of sitting, I'm going to tell you guys about my appointment. So yesterday, November 1st, I went for my appointment. Now, this month in November is going to be a very busy and physically and emotionally taxing month, but also a very exciting month. If you've gone through IVF or the fertility journey, you know that there's a lot of meds, there's a lot of appointments, things are really busy and really hectic and your body's constantly changing and going through all the medic medication changes. For example, Halloween was the last night of my birth control pills, and I was on that for a little over a month. Um, and now I have officially started my uterine lining thickening medication. I had to wait to get the all clear. So my appointment on the 1st of November was basically a baseline check, a pre-med check, just to kind of see where you're at. And then they take you off the birth control and then you're expected to start a period. So I should be starting a period any day now. This medication will thicken the lining. I take one pill three times a day until my uterine lining check, which is November 16th. If I pass that check, then I will have my embryo transfer right around Thanksgiving. If I fail the uterine lining check and my body is not ready, it'll be pushed back to after Thanksgiving, late November. So essentially, I'm hoping we have the transfer right around Thanksgiving. I'll keep you guys updated on the actual date once it arrives. Um, because the embryo transfer already di did get pushed back a couple days because the doctor's schedule and my schedule did not line up. And you guys know that my doctor wants to be the one to do my embryo transfer this time just so that there's no hiccups, which I'm okay with. So it did get pushed back by only four days. And can I just say, with the journey, it does seem crazy. I'm See, this is why I said I'm the worst at doing makeup and talking. Let me get my concealer. Oh, I have a new concealer. Okay, so you guys know I love the Tarte Shape Tape, but I've been saying for the last, I don't know, six months that I can't use it under my eyes because it's giving me lines and creases that I didn't know I had. So this is the Ultra Creamy by Tarte, and I love it. So I'm in the shade Fair Light Neutral. I think I'm going to get the Light Neutral next time because I think this is just a smidge too light for me I don't know maybe it's not and it's really thin I mean it looks like I just put on a lot I didn't the consistency is super thin and I'm just gonna blend it out with my blender where was I oh so the fertility journey it seems like okay so my last embryo transfer was scheduled for September 23rd if you guys have been here for a while you know that that did not work, did not go as planned, and the transfer couldn't happen, but the embryo is safe for now. I'm like not trying to be a pessimist or be negative, but there's always a chance that an embryo will not survive a thaw, and I just have to keep reminding myself of that 
because it can be devastating when you go in. So, and again, I'm a very positive person. You guys know that. But with this journey, and just to give you guys some advice too, so many things can change. Dates can be moved. There are setbacks and that's just part of it. But you have to keep positive and sometimes it is really hard to stay positive. Trust me, I know. We're just gonna roll with what happens and do the best that we can. And that's what I'm trying to do. So, all right, we have eyes done. Now for my spots, guys, I've had no live acne in two weeks. And do you wanna know why I think it is? I think it's because I've been on birth control for over a month and I think it's clearing up my skin. And now <laughs> I've stopped the birth control and I'm essentially taking a large dose of estrogen. That's with the medication that I'm taking. I believe it's called estrace. So it's estrogen pump pumping through the body, which is probably going to trigger me to start breaking out really bad here soon. But again, part of the journey, we can't do much about it. For my spot, sometimes I'll put it right on there, but I don't want to wig you guys out. So I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. I need to get a big daddy of this because I love the creamy texture, which is funny because I have usually oily-ish skin and lately I have not. I've had, which again, could be all the medications that are like changing my skin. So I don't know. So many changes going on with medication. And I do wanna wish a lot of you all the best of luck with your journeys, whatever you've got going on in the month of November, baby journey or whatever journey you may be on right now. Health journeys, work journeys, whatever you guys have going on. My allergies are really bad. I think it's because we went from Ohio to Florida and I'm like, I have the sniffles, I have a runny nose and I have a stuffy nose. So please just bear with me. I'm, I'm just, I'm doing just fine. Don't you worry. Like look how much better that looks. Oh, a lot of you guys have been saying how wonderful my skin looks. Not really. It's essentially a combination of two things. I mean, it is better, but as you guys can see, I have a lot, a lot of scarring. So, but we do this and then I'm going to show you guys the magic powder that I use. It is really good. The liquid foundation from them did not work for me. It made my skin super oily, but the powder foundation is a whole nother level and it works really well with my skin. My concealing is done. I'm happy with that. Again, it doesn't cover all the spots, but it kind of makes you one tone. It kind of covers up that redness. So I'm fine with that. And I am enjoying chai tea today with a splash of pumpkin spice creamer, like a tiny hint. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna set everywhere I put that concealer. And I'm just using a translucent powder by Laura Mercier. You can use whatever you want. The Maybelline Fit Me powder is really good as well. Guys, I was starting. I'm okay. So I'm super excited and I'm also having like an internal panic because I don't know why, but it seems like the holidays are coming, right? But we still had Halloween. So it was like we had so much time and then Halloween ended and then all of the Christmas commercials started coming out, which also makes me very excited. But it also made me realize, oh, holy crap. The Christmas season is coming and I'm working on a Vlogmas intro. So I'm getting that kind of organized and, but I'm just very excited. And I'm also very aware that the holidays are gonna be here before we know it. Okay, so the powder that I love is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder. I'm in the shade Light Beige and it's, it's just the most smoothing, it almost leaves like your skin looking creamy, but <laughs> is that a bad word to use? Just like airbrushed and not dry. Um, I did just recently purchase the Urban Decay Stay Naked The Fix powder. It was on sale at Sephora. And I was noticing in the camera, it did tend to leave my skin. I wore it on Halloween. And if you look at that vlog, I did notice it was making my skin look textured. Whereas this makes my skin kind of look flawless, not textured. This, this, I don't know why. And I really wanted to love this. You know what? I might end up using this under my eyes. Maybe that's what I'll do with it. But this, this is great. But again, the liquid way too oily for my skin. So all I really do is just take a light fluffy brush. I don't use a lot of it. And I just kind of lightly blend it all over. 
But where I have spots, you guys already know, I like to actually dab that area to give myself a little bit more coverage. Yeah, so I'm leaving this weekend to go see my best friend. Power on. Thank you. I am leaving this weekend to go see my best friend, Angela. Um, you guys know Angela. If you don't know Angela, she's been my best friend since sixth grade. And she recently moved. So we are in driving distance from each other, which makes me so excited. So for the first time, I am headed to go see her and see her new house, which also means I am going on a road trip by myself for the first time, not ever, because I did it once to go to Maryland. I drove by myself from Ohio to Maryland, which was like a seven hour drive. And this is the equivalent. It's like a seven hour, 50 minute drive. So almost eight hours. But you know, when you have your husband or you have your partner or a roommate and you guys kind of do everything together, I'm not used to going to doing things on my own or alone. And I remember talking to you guys about this a while ago that when I was going out and I was like, I was getting nervous to like go to the grocery store by myself. I'm like, no, 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 we can't, we can't do that. So I was forcing myself to go and run errands locally by myself. Well, this, this is gonna be a true test, my friends, because <laughs> we are going on an eight hour road trip by myself. And I'm nervous, but I'm also excited and I don't wanna get into my head about it. This is the prettiest pinky blush. It's by the brand Flower in the shade Flower Pots. No, <laughs> in the shade Sweet Pea. Really cute. Fun fact, my dad's always called me Sweet Pea since I was really little. We're gonna just bronze the face a smidge. Not precise with this. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze, hold on. Ha ha ha. <coughs> oh, geez. <coughs> okay. Back to it, we are going to bronze. And I just kind of lightly take this around the forehead. Also, I was having the worst hair day ever, by the way, today. And I was putting my hair in a claw clip and it was looking disgusting and it was just really terrible. I mean, I need to wash my hair, today's my day three. I always wash my hair like every three days, so it does need to be washed tonight. But I think I created the best bun I've ever created due to nasty hair. <laughs> so that was a plus. Now we're gonna go in with our highlight. I'm gonna use the Cookie by Benefit and just do a little bit on the cheekbones, a little bit here, and then I'm gonna take my pinky and just kinda dab the nose. Ah, ah. Oh, I should have used my new palette. Dang it. Well, we can use it for blush, maybe. I forgot to use it for blush and bronzer. Oh, and we could have used that wild cherry. Oh, we can put it over top. That's what we'll do. Okay. There are new rules. That's what we'll do. Ooh, is this pigmented? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, my God. Okay, I think we're done with the blush, because if we were going out in public, people would think I was like an anime character which I kind of like. So I think I'm gonna use this palette. It's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. And I think I'm gonna use this really pretty pink shimmery shade. But first, to really get that to stick and pop, I'm going to put on a little bit of the NYX Glitter Primer on my eyelids, which is essentially a sticky, sticky glue. No, not really a glue. Oh, speaking of glue from the wedding, guys, I had eyelash glue stuck in my eyelashes and I took my makeup off well, okay? And it was legitimately stuck for two days. I had my eyelids sticking. It was just, it was a journey. Kind of made me never want to <laughs> wear false eyelashes ever again. But the wedding was really fun. I'm so thankful you guys really enjoyed the Ohio vlogs as well. Larry and I had a wonderful trip. Let's go in with this pretty pink. Hopefully it's pink. It looks pink in the pot. Let's see. Oh, yeah. See? Okay. We're cool. We're good. See, if you don't use a primer sometimes with these shimmers, they just, they really don't show up. Now that, that looks really messy, but bear with me. We're going to, we're going to fix that. All right, now we need a nice little nude 
shade. Maybe we'll use this MAC blush in the shade Melba. It's just a matte nude. And we're just going to kind of dust that into the crease. All messy. No one cares. <laughs> it's fine. Ooh, this is like an everyday look. I'm really liking this pink neutral. And actually, I'm going to take that and run it under my lash line. This is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And it's just, it's just really easy to use. So again, we're just going to brush through really quick. I like to brush mine up. And my brows are a bit out of control. Usually, if they're freshly threaded. I don't have to do anything with them. I'll just run clear eyebrow gel and that's good for me. See, we went dark again. Why is that doing that? Are we actually dark or are we not? And it just looks like it is. I don't really know. So I'm just going to kind of lightly fill these in. <gasps> went a little high. Oh dear. Why does it feel weird? Why is it scratchy? Nobody got time for scratchy brows. This is why you go and get your brows started because we're making a mess of our brows right now. Now for the eyebrow gel, I'm using the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. It is my favorite. And my brows are long enough where I could comb them all upwards and they can be like spidey brows, but I don't really like that. I like to tame them just a bit. Go across like that. Curl eyelashes. That is not my favorite one. It always pinches me. My eyelash curly curler, which is Revlon. It's really old. I hear a kitty. And then we're just going to go in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, which you guys know is my favorite. Oh, you know what we still have to do is the inner corner highlight. Actually, I might use the same shimmery shade that we used for the eyeshadow as my inner corner highlight because I like that it's like a, a nice frosted pink is what I would describe that as. I am really into any kind of frosted pinks, light frosted golds. Those are pretty much my go-tos. Neutral colors. Ha ha ha. I mean, ha ha. Guys, I'm so excited about embryo transfer day so excited also nervous but mostly excited <laughs> i'm so excited i'm still getting my volume from what i'm about is it volume it's volume <laughs> i think i'm pretty sure so that'll be pleasantly nice so i'm not gonna be in full panic mode because i'm already gonna be nervous anyways but and yes they still don't want to my doctor still doesn't want to put me out i know a lot of you guys reached out to me and wanted me to push for that but what can I do? I mean, I don't know. We're also going to be making a delicious lunch today, which I'm excited about. Technically, meat or dinner. No, lunch. It'll be a lunch. And there we go. We got our necklaces on. This is from Target, in case you're wondering. A lot of you are asking about this necklace. It was a gift from my grandma when I was very little. Have no idea where she got it. Okay, so my makeup is all done. If the last few minutes of doing my makeup was dark and I couldn't figure out why. My camera shut off at the end and said it overheated. Oh. It overheated, which has never happened. And I have enlisted Larry's help to help me bring out all of the Halloween bins so we can get all of this put away. The tree's gonna come down today. A lot of the decor here, anything basically Halloween. And I was like, sh like I said in the beginning, should I bring anything festive out? And I'm like, trying to keep it still fall related and turkey related for example i still want to keep this out i still want to keep the warm garland out this obviously will go the ghosts will go the gnomes will go um the tree's gonna go got a mess to clean up this is still from halloween from my brother taking a nap and he told me that he drooled all over one of these pillows so now i'm figuring out what i need to do with that um hi larry hi so he's bringing out the bins. The bins. And one of these bins, I think, has our turkeys in it. The bin, I think that's still in there. Oh, okay. Turkeys! Turkey, turkey, turkey. That's what we're up to today. Everything's coming down. What are you two doing? Is it nap time? Are we having an afternoon nap? While I make lunch, you two nap. Hi, Nexie. Lexi says it's outside nap time. <laughs> but they're inside. 
You're too cute. I'm gonna make myself some lunch. Today's video is sponsored by Green Chef. You guys know I have worked with Green Chef for quite a while now. I love them. If you guys are unfamiliar with Green Chef, Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company with multiple dishes to fit your lifestyle, such as keto, plant-powered, paleo, and for those who simply want a balance. Green Chef makes it super simple and easy. It is delivered straight to your door. It's also already pre-packaged, portioned. Everything is ready to go. They also give you the pamphlet that shows you what you have, what you'll be making, how much time it's gonna take, the ingredients, list and everything that you'll need to make your meal and on the back will be the directions and I save all of mine because that way I can make them later on it's very quick it's efficient it's easy and I just love that it comes straight to my door and I don't have to worry about what I'm gonna be making so thank you Green Chef so much for making life much easier What's fun about Green Chef as well is you can switch up your meal plans based on diet changes or whatever you want to do or if you want to try new things such as I have gone back and forth between paleo and keto which was really fun so you are able to explore new options. Green Chef has given me a code for you guys. I'm going to read it verbatim right off my phone. If you go to greenchef.us backslash Mindy Minx 125 and use code Mindy Minx 125 to get $125 off, including free shipping on your first box. You guys know how in the kitchen I put up a, Larry and I put up the pumpkins above the cabinets and stuff like that. I'm thinking this year I would like to go to Hobby Lobby and get a pre-lit battery operated green garland for up in the kitchen for Christmas. But I'm jumping ahead of myself here. This is Thanksgiving, so. I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod and so you guys can see what we're doing. Oh my God. <laughs> Billy's head. What do they say in the movie? Wow, he's terrifying though. It looks cuter in the Disney film. Let me know if you guys have taken all your Halloween decor down yet. And let me know if you've put Christmas stuff up. I've seen a couple of my friends have put up Christmas stuff already in little spots and I might do that, but I don't. So, oh, that's funny. But when can we? When is a good time? Well, yeah, traditionally. Traditionally, that is what one would do, but we're not traditional. No, technically we are. Oh, we gotta take down the pumpkin and the ghost. Oh. Alright. Say goodbye to the pumpkins and ghosts. Goodbye, pumpkin and ghost. Why can't I take this out? Oh, it goes the opposite way. Goes the opposite way, I'm mean, sorry. <sighs> and just like that, freaking Halloween is over. How does it go so quickly every single year? I'm sad. 360 something days left, guys. We're almost there. Thank you, Jack Skellington. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. That, that thing is on every single video known to man. Larry gets going in the wormhole on the internet and starts watching all these videos, and I hear that at least like 15 times when he's down the wormhole. Yeah. This is such a cute garland. I'm so happy we found it. Although it's not giving me an easy time right now. We found it. Huh? You found it? Well, yeah. Well, I did. I have a bad habit of saying we because I like to include whoever I'm with <laughs> in conversation. Such as, we're going to get coffee even though it's only one of us who gets coffee. But I just like to say we because I don't like to exclude. Because if I didn't say we, then I would get, <laughs> you're so selfish. <laughs> you only talk about yourself. So I have learned to always say we. <laughs> We, we found the garland. There's two now. Right, babe? And that's not me being spiky or being saucy. It's just, it's just what happens. You know you gonna help me? Are you gonna help me? Like, should I just take everything down and then put it on the floor and then pack the boxes? I feel like that would be smarter, wouldn't it? That's false stuff that stays out. Oh, I gotta get a screwdriver here. Let's do that. I'm just gonna literally grab everything and put it on the floor. It's Halloween. Battery. All right, we're gonna bust on some Christmas music. I have been listening to Christmas music since June. And that's not even a lie, is it, babe? It's not a lie. Every night, Christmas music. But now I can officially listen to Christmas music because 
It's November 1st. And also, the... That's November 1st. Well, no, but, but that's why I can listen, because November 1st, but... I respect Thanksgiving. I love the Macy's Day Parade, you guys know this, and I always film on Thanksgiving Day. kitty up here okay. wow guys that's it that's all we had up for decor now we just got a package no, so there's I think at least one more thing we've got this cat up here is that what you were thinking of no that looks so uh no it looks so empty doesn't it off with the cape oh my gosh that me of and the off. hat off with her head off with her head. oh you know what these towels gotta go towels gotta go gotta wash all the halloween towels and replace them with just purely autumn towels or pine tree towels because not Christmas because Larry's not having that yet. <laughs> Is it hot in here? I'm gonna turn on the fan. I am hot. Oh, it's probably my estrogen medication. It's making me hot. exciting to think about bringing it back out next year. It'll look the same. It'll be all over the floor. We'll be excited. And then it'll be over. Sound like my mom. It's all over. It's so depressing. That's me at Christmas though. When Christmas ends, I'm so sad. On my turkeys. I'm turkeys. very excited. Turkey! Turkey, turkey, turkeys. Okay. We have my gold leaf, my pumpkin, one of my turkeys. Aren't I missing a turkey? Maybe not. Maybe it's only mom who has that bright glitter turkey. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. yeah. This is the last Halloween box, and then we have a couple of bits that we're gonna have to figure out. That stuff in this bin. Yeah, I got that too. Okay. So that's what we'll do. We're gonna take all the turkey stuff out and put the Halloween stuff in there. It is time to dissemble our Halloween tree. The spider has been plucked off the top. Dissemble? Is dissembled not the right word? Disassemble? <laughs> that's what I meant. That's exactly what I meant. Um, and then, yeah, we're just gonna take all the ornaments off. Oh, that's cute. That's actually not a bad idea. That's cute, Lawrence. Thanks. Yeah, I'll show you guys what Larry just started doing. He's very creative. So above my office, we have these snowflake fairy lights from last Christmas that I just kind of left there. And Larry's hanging autumn leaves that were on the Halloween tree across the way, which is really cute. I like that a lot.
So we're gonna put the tree back up in the pantry. It looks so empty now. And we definitely need to vacuum because, per usual, our tree has lost some of its little needles. We added a golden turkey here. We left the fall lights up. There's another turkey here. And then on this table, I pulled out one of the candles from Target and then the gold leaf we put in here and just popped in some more of that potpourri in there. And then over here, we left the little fox out. This is pumpkin carbon, we gotta burn that one. With thankful and blessed with a little candle. Another thankful, which I think these are from Kohl's. In the kitchen, I left this sign here and then I just added a little mini turkey there. And then this, oh, and then on the kitchen table, I popped this here. Hi, babe. Hi. Thanks for helping me. You're welcome. We did great. And I really like my entrance to the office. Okay, so just to recap, I don't know if the last video that I just... Okay, so just to recap, I'm not sure if I, if I showed you guys the plant, but Larry put the plant back. I think it looks super nice. It's nice and cozy. And then... Larry found this pillow, which is one of my favorite pillows. It's a fox pillow. How many times can we say pillow in one sentence? But he brought it out and we have it here. It's super cute. So that's, that's pretty much everything. Not a Christmas decor item in sight. <laughs> Yet.